In this video, I'm going to show you how to install both Python 3 as well as PyCharm on Mac OS. Now, you do not need to use PyCharm, but it's free and it's a great tool, and that's the reason why I decided to use it. First, you're going to need to find your Applications folder, which should be in your My Computer, which lies on your desktop. Open that up, and then you're going to look for Utilities. Come down there, click on that. And then you're going to look for Terminal and click on that. Then you're going to go into the terminal and type in Python with a space dash V, and you should see that you have Python 2.7 installed. This is a Python 3 tutorial though, so we're going to install that, and you can get out of this by just typing in quit with two parentheses. Then what you're going to need to do is go and open up the App Store, and specifically, we are going to search for Xcode. And you can see over here where I typed in Xcode. You're then going to either click on Install or Update. And this window is going to open up, and then you're going to click on Update once again, or Install. After everything installs, you do not need to open it, and you can just get out of the App Store altogether. After that, you're going to open up your terminal, just like I showed you previously, and you're going to type in xcode-select with a space, two dashes, and install. Hit enter. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use a really awesome tool called Homebrew, and you can get it at brew.sh. And all you need to do is come down here and select all of this text that you have right here and click on copy. After that, we're going to jump back into the terminal again, and you're just going to paste that command into your terminal and hit enter. A whole bunch of things are going to install. Then you're going to specifically open up your users folder. Mine is Derek Banis. Then you're going to want to hold down command and shift and period. And what this is going to do is open up a whole bunch of hidden files. And one of the ones you're going to need is specifically .bash underscore profile. You're going to want to open that up. Then whenever you open it up, it should look something like this. You're probably not going to have the OPAM configuration here, but you'll probably have Java. But either way, you're going to specifically want to type in export path equal to and exactly what you see here on your screen. And then you're going to want to save that file. After that, you can open up your terminal again and type in brew install Python. And all of this stuff is going to splash across your screen as Python 3 is installed. Then you should be able to come in and type in Python 3 and hit enter. And you're going to see Python 3 is installed now instead of regular Python 2.7. You can test that it's installed by typing in print and hello world between parentheses. And you should see hello world. And to get out of this, you're going to type in quit with parentheses and hit enter. Now we're going to install PyCharm. Now you can just type in PyCharm or you can go to jetbrains.com with a forward slash and PyCharm. Whenever you do, you're going to come right here and you're going to click on download. We are going to be using the free version of PyCharm, which is called community. So just click on download. And whenever you do, you're going to see this DMG file down here at the bottom of your screen. You want to click on that and you're going to want to come in here and click on open. Whenever you do, you're going to want to just drag the PyCharm CE, which stands for community, over into your applications folder. And now you're going to see that PyCharm shows up in your applications folder, so double click on it. Whenever you do, you're going to see this little message here. You're going to want to click on open. And then we're going to have this marked as do not import settings and click on OK. Down here, confirm and then click on continue. Over here, you can either choose to send data in from your uh, PyCharm application or not. Then I would just select right here where it says I've never used PyCharm and then come down here and click on Next. You can decide to either use the dark or the light theme and click on Next. Right here, I would go and click that you want to create a script for opening files and come down here and click on Next. Don't worry about any of these plugins and then click here where it says start using PyCharm. This is going to open up. You're going to want to click that you want to create a new project. And you can come in here and name your project whatever you would like and put it in whatever directory you, you would like. You can click on this little folder over here to open up a standard dialog and then click on create. And then PyCharm is going to open up and you can see your project over here and this is where you're going to be creating your files. Come up here where it says PyCharm and preferences. Click on preferences. 
whenever you do, if you come down here and click on project with your name of your project and then project interpreter, and you should see that Python 3.7 is the interpreter that is being used, click on OK. Then to create a new file, you're just going to want to click up here on the Python tut project that you've created, come over to new and Python file. Whenever you do that, this window is going to open up. You're going to want to come in and create a name for the file. I just typed in hello world, and then you're going to want to click on Python file. That is going to open up your new file, and we can test that everything's installed properly by typing in print with hello world surrounded with quotes and parentheses. You're then going to come up to run and then click on run. This is going to open up and you're just going to hit enter to execute. Whenever you do, you should see hello world show up right here. Now, if you would like to have your code on the right side of your screen, you can come up here and click on right bottom, just anywhere inside of the console window. And you're going to see your code shows up on the right side of the screen. And that is it. You'd have both Python 3 as well as PyCharm completely set up. And in the upcoming tutorials, we're going to start learning Python. Hopefully you didn't have any issues, but if you did, please leave a comment down below and I will be sure to help you.